Hey, it's Lisa Love here. Just finishing up my oatmeal. Mm. Overnight oats. They're cold. Just put them in my refrigerator overnight. Check out YouTube. And you can get the recipe for these overnight oats. So easy to make, so convenient. Big time saver too. Okay. Clearly I'm bored with the corona stuff going on, but I'm determined not to gain any weight during this, okay? Maybe a pound or two. I want to share with you a recipe that I have for chocolate pudding, all right? It's really a healthy chocolate pudding. Didn't say it was low calorie, but it is a healthy version. It's got some healthy fats in it. It's avocado based, okay? Absolutely delicious. I promise you that you will love it. The kids will love it. Uh, it's good for the whole family, and it's really good for you. You can do some variations on it, and you can even turn it into an ice cream, too, but that's another video. But to make this chocolate pudding, and I don't even call it a chocolate avocado pudding, here's what you do. So you need a blender cup, all right? I'm going to use my Ninja for this. But you need some ripe avocados. See how ripe those are? They're ready to yield for me, okay? A little lumpy. So I'm going to get these all sliced up and um, put them in here, and I'll see you in a minute, okay? Okay, so I got my avocado in, okay? And see that how dark that is? That's because it was ripe and ready to go, all right? Here's one that I'm going to make some guacamole with. Not quite what I want for my um, pudding, though, okay? So we're making this chocolate pudding. Put that one aside. And I've got my avocado in here. I'm gonna add one whole banana, okay? Okay, the whole thing in here. The other thing that I like to add is a little bit of vanilla flavoring, okay? Half a teaspoon of that. Teeny bit of salt to bring out the flavor. That's it. Cocoa powder tablespoons. Did I tell you how many avocados I use? I use three ripe avocados, okay? That's about three actual tablespoons of cocoa. And what's a little bit different about mine, I like to be different, is that I'm sweetening it, sweetening it, sweetening it with, <laughs> I can't talk, with the banana and also some protein powder. Two scoops of chocolate flavored protein a little plant-based milk okay so we're gonna do a little bit of um, this is almond milk about a tablespoon okay get ready to blend see you in a minute well look at what we got some chocolate pudding I'd say ah doesn't it look good ooh, ooh, ooh. Obviously, this is rich, okay? You know I gotta make it look good. Right. So, how can you just, you know, add some fun to it? Some dark chocolate right across the top. Or, or in addition to, actually, you could do something like one of my favorites. I like Girl Scout cookies. Here they are. The chocolate mint ones, the thin mint ones. I don't just eat the cookies. I like them over something or in something. So look at that. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you, the kids are going to love it. Everybody's going to love this. So rich, mm, creamy, delicious. So, full of really good, healthy fats. The thing is, though, because it's got avocado fat and banana fat in it, you don't want to overdo it. It's about three quarters cup or so. 
that's it so good though so good for you this is my chocolate avocado pudding it's so good for more recipes follow me at no sweat plus all right you can go to youtube uh no sweat plus .com. all right we're all over social media facebook everywhere lots of great recipes tips lifestyle hacks and this is a perfect no sweat plus dessert okay perfect no sweat plus dessert all right see you next time i got food to eat <laughs>